Hello and welcome to the TishSim tutorial. TishSim is a fast simulator of the time slotted channel hopping protocol. You can obtain TishSim on GitHub under EDI Riga. Either git clone the code or simply go to the releases and download the zip file. Once you have obtained TishSim, you can start using it directly. No installation is necessary. Uh, this is the folder structure of the TishSim. Under examples, there are a number of examples demonstrating the functionality of the simulator and their results. Uh, there are results of the finished simulations under source. There is the source code of the simulator. Under tests, there are a number of regression tests for the simulator. And under web, there is the source code of the web interface. Uh, finally, we have a number of scripts for starting the simulator dishsim.sh and dishsimwebinterface.sh uh, These are scripts for Linux and MacOS operating systems. And uh, we also have these uh, batch scripts, which are identical for functionality, but there are for Windows operating system. Uh, to start using the simulator, you can simply run it from the command line, uh, passing the name of the configuration file as the parameter. In this case, I'm going to use examples line which simulates line topology. Once the simulator has finished, you can go to results directory and uh, see the following files. First is configuration file of the simulator. Uh, second is log, which contains the console log output. Uh, and then we have the stats JSON, which contains the results of the simulation in JSON format, uh, including things like delivery rate and loss rate. Finally, we have stats merge.json. In this case, it's identical with the JSON because we only had a single run for the simulator. But if we had a JSON uh, configuration file which specified multiple runs, uh, then this file would contain the merged results of all of these different runs. Now well, we're going to demonstrate the web interface of the Tish Sim. The web interface has the following components. At the top, you have the control panel. To start the simulation, simply click on the run button. Then you have the network view, which shows nodes, links, and transmissions. At the very bottom, there is the log view, which shows the logging output. And finally, in the middle, the most interesting one of them all is the schedule view, which shows cells and other things. But by default, it shows receptions and transmissions. Uh, transmissions are in blue and receptions in green. But you can also configure it to show different things, for example, only the packets. Here you see a unicast packet being transmitted from node number 5 to node number 1. It was acknowledged. Here you see some broadcast transmissions. Then you can configure this to show the slot frames in different colors. Uh, this is the orchestra scheduler. An orchestra by default has three different slot frames. First you have the unicast slot frame. Uh, then you have the slot frame for enhanced beacons. And finally you have the default common slot frame, which is used for broadcast and for other kinds of traffic. Uh, last but not least, you can also show the channel offsets in different colors or the actual physical channels in different colors. If we go back to the schedule view, uh, I'm going to demonstrate um, uh, the other buttons. Uh, so reset, resets the simulation back to the start. Results, shows the results of the finished simulation. Uh, settings we will cover later. Uh, options also has uh, things like simulation speed. For example, you can run it in real time. The default is as fast as possible. Or you can run it even slower. For example, you can simply step to the next active cell with the packets. Or you can even simply step a single cell. The settings view as configuration for auto-generation of the network. For example, we can simply generate a bigger star network with 10 nodes. 
prefer to disable the login schedule view now. Or we can generate a line network. Well, nodes are in a line. Of course, we can also generate quite bigger networks. For example, using the grid topology, we can easily have 100 nodes. As you see, the simulation is not quite as fast, but still, we are able to execute in a few seconds. Finally, we have the mesh network auto generation. So, for all of these other types of networks, we only have two settings first is the number of nodes, and second is the link quality. Uh, but for mesh, it's not that easy. We can still have the link quality, which is quality on the average. Uh, but then we also have the number of good links for each node, which are the quality six. Uh, but we can make it bigger. Uh, let's make the network smaller and generate a mesh network. So this is quite dense mesh network. If we now tune down this parameter, it will become more sparse. And if we go as low as three good neighbors for each node, uh, the network might not be even fully connected anymore with good links. If you want to learn more, there are a number of options. First, make sure to read the README file. And then, you can go to the wiki page and see the descriptions of different components of the Tish sim. Uh, finally, you can either make an issue on GitHub or go right directly to me. I'm hoping that you find the simulator useful. Thanks for your attention.